Hello and welcome to another video on LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll discuss about how to use notifiers in LabVIEW. First of all, let's create a VI on which consider that I have a while loop and another loop as well. Now I need to pass the data from one loop to another. So what I'm going to do it is, first of all, I'll create the event structure so that I'm going to generate the data only when I press the button. Uh, if you are new to event structures, please uh, go and uh, watch one of the video in this channel regarding how to use the event structure. Uh, next, uh, I'll have two outputs. There's a reason why I have got two outputs in a moment. And finally, I have a stop button. And I'll have another Boolean control as well. Uh, which will be used to generate the value. Now I'm going to add the Boolean control. This will be for the generate. And I'm going to type generate over there. Next, what I'm going to do it is I'm going to create the event structure uh, associated with that one. So to add event case, select generate, press OK. As you can see, the event case has been converted into the generate. Now I want to generate the value between 0 and 10. So whatever the value is being generated, I'm going to multiply that by 10. Uh, next, uh, since now I need to send the data from this loop to the end of the loop. So one of the way is to use the local variable, but in this case, I'm going to use the notifier. Uh, notifier is very similar to queues, but the difference is queues are unish to one communication while notifiers are one is to n communication. Uh, not only that, notifier can support only one value at a time. It does not support the buffering. That basically means if you write the data continuously, uh, the last value is going to be overwritten. So here, I'm just going to connect, uh, obtain notifier. I just created the reference, just like uh, the queues. If you want to know about the queues, please watch the another video regarding queues in this same channel. And I'm going to put the release notifier so when I press the generate button what actually happens is the send notification VI function is going to send the number and the advantage of using the notifier is I can send the data into multiple loops I can send to n number of loops using the same value now, which I it is not possible using the queues so I'm going to put the stop button over there and then when I press the stop, I'm going to stop the loop. And I can just duplicate the second loop because I now can send the data between two loops at the same time. Uh, you can use two different kind of functions to read the data. So the next thing what I'm going to do it is I'm going to label the functions. So that one is the release notifier which will uh, be used to release the memory that was occupied by the notifier. Uh, this is going to send notification and this is going to be the wait on notification. Uh, there are actually two different kind of uh, functions you can use to read the data. Uh, this one basically has a timeout functionality. So it will only read the data if there is a change in value. Uh, next, we'll use the merge error to make sure that release notifier will execute only after all the loops has stopped execute. Otherwise, what actually happens is if you stop the first loop and it destroys the notifier or releases the notifier, rest of the loops might still be waiting to use the wait on notification which uses the same reference. So in that case, you will get the error. 
you know, we are going to run the VI. And whenever I generate, as you can see, I can send the data into multiple loops. Similarly, you can also create the notifier for the stop button to make sure all the loops will stop when you press stop. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for future LabVIEW videos.